Yeah, so in New York State, um, you know, people come in to see us after they've lost a loved one uh, and a wrongful death. Um, they're very sad and they're still grieving, but nevertheless, they still want to know, you know how long it's going to take uh, to resolve uh, their loved one's case. And generally, you know, we tell them that it really depends on a number of factors. It depends on how the case, um, you know, how the case happened, you know, how much of an investigation has to be done. Uh, we don't have uh, their loved one to talk to about how the accident happened. Uh, so it's even more important than usual that we do an investigation to talk to all of the witnesses, to get all the photographs and take our own photographs to get the video surveillance. We're handling a very sad case for somebody right now uh, where there was a lot of surveillance uh, video and there's a lot of footage that has to be reviewed uh, and that takes some time. Uh, the next thing that you have to um, deal with is, you know, how is any settlement going to be divided up or apportioned in New York State, because with wrongful death, uh, it goes to the, you know, the, the wife and the family or the loved ones that were dependent, and it doesn't always mean an equal split. So sometimes we're able to resolve cases in a matter of months, you know, maybe four months, six months, eight months, uh, but very often it takes longer to resolve those cases. Um, there is a shorter statute of limitations uh, for wrongful death cases than there are for simple negligence cases. Um, it's two years rather than three years. So that shortens the total amount of time that it takes. Uh, but there's still a number of factors uh, in wrongful death cases which push, which push them out and often take, uh, make them take a little bit longer uh, than a typical car accident case.